Here's what's wrong with modern gaming. Match making an application 120 that has scoring engine 122 that uses biometric factors like facial expressions, pulse, body language, and sweat to determine microtransaction engine 128 that tries to pair lower skilled players who don't have the bundles with higher skilled players that do have the bundles. Hey yo, what the f <laughs> Like the video, subscribe if you're brand new because I tell your friends and you and everybody in the Call of Duty community, all the gamers, the toxic gamers that they like to label you and me as deserve to know the truth. Check this out. Summarize, here's what's wrong with modern gaming. Matchmaking application 120 that has scoring engine 122, which is basically skill-based matchmaking that is so strong that it may even ignore the latency variable when looking for a match. Analytics and feedback engine 124 that uses biometric factors like facial expressions, pulse, body language, and sweat to determine- Biometric, and these suckers need those face scans like this right now though. I swear to god, man, how? Why is gaming getting all that crap? Why? Why do you need pictures of my face? Why do you need pictures of my BBC, dog? Why do you need pictures of my BBC? As a brown man, I immediately ask for this to be removed from our video games. Like if you agree. Every player satisfaction. Pipeline Engine 126, which creates soft reservations, which are essentially protected brackets for a specific parameter of players exceeding a certain threshold. Microtransaction Engine 128, that tries to pair lower skilled players who don't have the bundles with higher skilled players that do have the bundles, at the same time just rewarding players. And to all the bozos out there that said that it's fake, bro. It is fake, man. They have it in patterns. They have it in patterns. And now it's more effective. It's more in use than ever in the history of all mankind. Buy right? bundles in general by giving them easier lobbies. On top of all that nonsense, they're adding AI bots, matchmaking engine 122, that may make a determination to utilize one or more NPCs if a requisite number of players has not joined a gameplay session. NPC engine 124 that may generate bots just on the fly when other players leave the lobby. NPC profile engine 126 that adds dummy data to a bot profile so that when you click on the bot profile, you're led to believe that it's a human player and artificial intelligence engine that tries its best to demonstrate human-like behavior oh my god oh my god you're honest to god bro this is what the actual f bro like this is worse than a can casino system they're turning games into casino they're turning gamers into casino addicts casino players i'm not saying like being an addict of casino is bad but you know it is bad bro yeah. it is bad don't gamble man then you get addicted i mean unless you are xqc with hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars you can then but if you are struggling don't do it bro Take your mom out on a dinner. Buy some nice for your brothers and sisters out there. Drop a two penny for your brother Bruh. and skizzle out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, but but yeah, yeah, but but uh, you get the point, right? You get the point, right? Like Holy. friendliness. So as it pertains to Call of Duty, boys. I don't really cover patents and I don't give them too much validity for the simple fact that they're so hard to prove that they're in the game. Like, like they're so hard to prove that they're actually using them and a lot of patents simply go unused. That's However, true, true. what he covers in this video is very, very interesting because there are real world examples of things happening. In particular, in particular, the... The craziest thing here is that, yeah, I also do believe, like full disclosure, I also do believe that not all the stuff that they're mentioning is being used but the thing is that they are thinking about it this is why they filed a patent so one day one day right one day if they are actually getting their their hands on your your bbc pictures yeah. or bwc i'm not sure whether you have a bwc or bbc you let me know nah don't let me know come on bro like i i don't okay i don't want to know uh, i ain't gay though but <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm leaving that in the video, not gonna edit this out. But but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, one day these twats wanna actually use it. You know, when PlayStation 20 comes out, that has that always online system, that has the camera, because they tried, Xbox One tried to have always online. You forgot, right? You forgot. This is why I'm saying, man, you gotta like and subscribe, man. So I'll keep you reminded. Matchmaking, choosing to like put you in a laggier lobby, which should never be the case. We, we pretty much verified that all the way back in Cold War that your lobbies will get laggier and the connection will get worse the better you are. That's how intense the skill based matchmaking is. Yeah. Uh, the microtransaction engine, we don't know that's a thing 100%, but it's been speculated that that's a thing. And it, would you really put it past Activision? That's another thing. Can you put it past them using that? The AI bot one was very intriguing to me for the simple fact that I didn't know this one existed. I, I didn't know this particular patent existed, Damn. but it 
backs up a lot of the user experiences that people have had with running into people that, that they think are bots or whatever. And all this stuff, all this stuff. Uh, your thoughts on the bots real quick. One, if you like the bots in the games, two, if you don't like it. Personally, I view bots, for example, right? Like, I feel like the Battlefield 2042 bot system was actually a good idea because the way I thought initially, okay, but obviously my opinion has changed ever since then, but I think for Battlefield 2042, it was a, because that game, I believe has skill-based management, but it's not as severe as Call of Duty, you know what I mean? And we, what we heard is that when the game dies, when the servers are dead, when nobody is playing the game, that's when, you know, the bots are gonna fill up it's gonna fill up your lobby it's gonna fill up the, the 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 game and for example five years from now when you want to play a game of your liking yo thank you for subscribing walter appreciate it big man thank you let me send you some kisses gang gang thank you brother so five years from now when you go back to your beloved franchise or your beloved game and you want to play and you find out that nobody's playing well it's gonna have bots so that's gonna solve the problem therefore you can run with bots and you can play for how matter for how long you want to and you're gonna still have a you're still gonna have a good time so i like that idea in this way but for call of duty it's it's a bit different whether you want to believe it or not whether you want to like say it's in the game or not it's interesting and it needs to be shown to people that it could very well be put into the game and not just Call of Duty, but really any Activision title. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting if you watch the entire 33 minute video or whatever, that he even uh, shows an old video Nero had where he's covering some patents. Okay. And this is like six years ago or whatever. He's covering some patents about like supply drop pay to win tactics back when they were using those and they could legally do that. And it turned out essentially to be true. And, and this is what I'm talking about. Like it's so hard to yeah. prove that they're in the game. I mean, I gotta play this sound effect because some of you suckers think it's just funny. It's just jokes. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, it's real, bro. It's real! Obviously, like, 9 out of 10 times, <laughs> I, I exaggerate by saying that if you play 5 games, they're gonna know the shine of your dog. But, dog, biometric. They, these suckers had biometric, so you really think they wouldn't know the size of your BBC or BWC? Come on, man! What are we talking about? This is Activision. It's a multi-billion dollar company, man. They, you know that little black diary? Codic's name was mentioned on that. What you guys think, man? Open your eyes. Open your mind. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. Okay, I, I don't want to be sounding like a conspiracy theorist here or start conspiracies, but you need to wake up. You need to wake up. Game unless they mess up essentially or you run some extensive extensive tests and the fact that the matchmaking one is 100% true and the EOMM one I covered is believed to be 100% true with the data we do have it, it raises some eyebrows for sure now here's the thing that aside that aside we are supposed to get a, a matchmaking talk from the devs. The Call of Duty devs are finally breaking their silence. And again, we have to speculate that it's after Bobby Kotick leaves at this point yeah, maybe, that they're able maybe. to talk about it. This evil ginger gnome fuck. Brad, they actually announced and then they did. They said that we are gonna, we're gonna announce how the skill based matchmaking works. And then those things did, Brad. Brad. They just did. They forgot. They just peaced out. They were like, okay, well, you know. <laughs> Gamers gonna forget about it, and here we are, gamers, toxic gamers, and we are talking about it, guys. We need to keep the pressure up. We must stay focused, brothers, and we must keep the pressure. We must keep asking for skill-based matchmaking keys. We know we need the keys to the kingdom. As a brown man, I demand for the keys of the kingdom. I demand for our youth and our generation to know the truth. I want our gamer generation to know how the skill-based matchmaking works. Like the video if you agree and you want to know too. Fucker is finally hitting the old dusty trail. And honestly, man, when he passes away, if he has a public grave, I will live stream myself on Twitch taking a shit on the grave. Okay, uh, whoa, 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 that's, that's way too much, dog. Um, I get it, you don't like him too much. I mean, bruh, like, bruh. he... It's more than him not liking him, I get it. But dog, like, I know gamers don't like him. I, I also don't like him. But let's not go that far. Let's not attack uh, the guy. He's leaving the gaming industry. Maybe he's ready to ruin another franchise. Uh, he's talking about Bobby Kotick, for those of you that didn't catch his drift. Uh, but uh, yeah, he the guy's not that liked. And for right reasons, he basically <laughs> ruined our beloved franchises. One of the biggest franchises he ruined is Call of Duty. And we do not know whether he's gonna go in another company 
and ruin another game but but that's like a different topic altogether maybe he's not gonna do maybe he's a change man and i hope he's a change man but even though he has ruined our beloved franchises i mean that's a bit not a bit that's way too far come on man don't take a crap on somebody's grave like that damn damn bro. you know with sensor bars damn, of course bro. like when that on, happens bro. But I digress. I, I think that's actually a, a big felony. Anyway, um, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. But it, it's in the cards. It's in nah, the cards. Don't do it. Does don't do it bro. Regardless, don't do it. he's finally leaving. His reign of terror is over. Microsoft's taking over, and, and people are hopeful for the first time in forever. But I, I really think you should keep your expectations low because I, I want to just. I don't know, man. One of two things are going to happen, all right? Either they're going to beat around the bush and they're not going to tell us anything, or they're going to rip the lid off of all this nefarious bullshit going on behind the I scenes. So. They may seriously just throw Bobby Kotick under the bus after he leaves because what's stopping them? That's going to be the more interesting and the... the man, more the sad thing here is this, guys, that, you know, Phil Spencer says that we're, he's going to stay for Christmas and Merry Christmas to my brothers and sisters who celebrate it. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays to everybody. The craziest and saddest thing here is that Phil Spencer did say that he's going to stay after Christmas, but he's not going to stay for New Year. I mean, oh. Phil Spencer, come on, man. Pop a bottle with, uh, with the homie Bobby Kotick, okay? I'm talking about water, okay? Because uh, uh, I'm not talking about uh, popping like uh, something else, okay? Because that's haram, okay? Uh, just uh, like pop like maybe a glass, like do a cheers. Uh, water, water, with water. Do a cheers uh, with, with the homie Bobby Kotick, man. Uh, keep him till New Year at least, man. Don't kick him out before that. Come on, man. Be nice, man. Much more, I guess. Uh, look forward to response here but let me just go back let me just go back here because I, I want okay. to just cover this in depth there's something that is hidden in plain sight with this message and while I go over this keep the patent stuff I just covered in mind all right so this is what they said weeks ago I believe November 30th roughly they said this I'm just gonna skip to the second paragraph it's a large effort that we've worked on for many years, referring to the matchmaking, and our approach combines latency, search time, and skill, along with many other factors, to try to find the best match experience for you. Oh, oh, Talking shit. about this topic in detail can be hard. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. First of all, I've covered this before. What is hard about this? What is yeah, like y'all singers just need to open your mouth. This is exactly what I've, I, I was saying before. You need to open your mouth and just talk about how skill-based matchmaking works. The fact that you singers are saying that it, it's hard and, and we need to think about how. We haven't spent time to pull together all of our work to share with you our insights. Just talk! Just let us know how it actually works. The fact that you're you haven't taken or spent the time to make a bull shies as bull squash ass response tells us that whenever you're gonna, it's gonna be all bull squash. You're gonna be hiding more stuff. Maybe you have found like some else. Therefore, you're like, okay, you know what? We're, we're gonna give you. Hey, you go peasants, and we're gonna let you in on this little secret that we had for the last four years. But we got some big speculate about that. Start conspiracy about that, but the, the, the thing the, the, the thing that we had four years ago, you're finally gonna find out. It's like the same thing, right? Whatever the military has right now, they are light years ahead versus the technology that we have in our hands. Okay, I have S10 Plus. Don't laugh, guys. Don't laugh, okay? Bruh. S10 Plus. So S10 Plus is a very, very good phone. Don't laugh. Uh, but you feel what I'm saying? Whatever we have as public, that's just... We are in the Stone Ages right now versus what they have. So this is like Activision g g coming at us with the same mentality. Difficult about this. We don't know. It's such a weird thing to say because this is the easiest conversation in the world to have with your player base at the end Agreed. of the day. It is. Agreed. Unless you're doing something that's just not normal. But that's not <clears throat> what I really wanted to cover because when I read this, and this is straight from the horse's mouth, this is not a conspiracy theory. Read this sentence. Read this sentence here in regards to the matchmaking and how it works. It combines latency, search time, and skill along with many Damn. other factors. Damn. That right there is the Damn. key to all this. And I, I didn't even see it when I first read this. I, I focused on the talking about this can be hard and all the other stuff they were saying. Yeah, bro. They they combine latency, search time, and skill. But did you know that they also combine friendly? <laughs> they also combine that with that too, bro. No, no, no. Along with many other factors. Look at the previous yeah. three things: <laughs> latency, search time, and skill. <laughs> what? Other fucking factors do you need? Uh, the, the, the BBC, bro. The BBC version. Realistically, answer that question. Answer it in the comments if you'd like. 
what do you what is there to, to match on except those three things in a normal skill-based matchmaking system no seriously please tell me if they try to like beat around the bush here and they backtrack remember that phrase along with they're probably gonna many other factors not a few yeah. other factors not many. one other factor many many, many. that is just that's Many it. could be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten billion. It could be many, many, and one of them is probably like biometric. Uh, I mean, we found that biometrics, uh, face scans, scan of your BBC as well, probably. Uh, honestly, bro, like this game is hell. It is hell. Like, why do you need that much information? I don't understand. That is all I need to see in regards to this to tell me that whatever they talk about i expect it to be in the know on these many other factors because what else could you possibly match Hi. people on and it not be shady as shit seriously answer that i don't know they're how they're probably I gonna give us the 20 percent truth uh maybe even less than that i didn't really see this I i've literally been going back and rereading this and just trying to see like what are you trying to actually say it's it's still really vague like they're being more open about it but it's still really vague Look, man, here's the thing. Oh, Call of Duty oh, team. I, I don't know. I don't know, like, the devs' actual NDAs here. It's clear that they have one. That's not even speculation. It's very clear that they cannot 100%. openly talk about skill-based matchmaking. 100%. I mean, like, that. Yeah, they they have NDAs for all the, the, the projects. As soon as you enter the, the hail of Activision, <laughs> as soon as you open the doors, okay? <laughs> you open the doors. You get inside the Activision. The guy comes up, walks in, and he's like, he has those, like, glasses, right? And I was like, like, the... Like, Okay, so uh, your name, eh, 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 eh. there you go, Andy, Andy in my ass, bro, Andy in my ass, bro. So they're gonna throw that paper like directly on your face. Those of you that speak Urdu and or Hindi, वो ना जैसे ना किसी के मुँह पे ना ऐसे पांच उंगली वाली लानत मारते हैं ना ये ऐसे ना लानत पूरे ना मुँह पे पेल देंगे पांच और साले. They will put that Andy paper on your face and they will be like, yo, you need to sign that immediately. I mean, okay, I'm exaggerating, but it's it's understandable, and to to the most part, that's what happens when you work for these corporations. You would have to sign NDAs, and understandably, but these things are probably uh, NDA on their balls, on their on the the skill based matchmaking, on everything, bro. Engagement optimized matchmaking or anything like that. They, uh, I mean, you could literally just make a COD dev shut up by just saying skill based matchmaking. They'll just mime yeah. up, man. <laughs> They're done. Um, imagine their life is being threatened. They're like, okay, <laughs> don't, don't, don't speak, don't talk about skill based matching again. Because they're sick, it's like, there are, you know, we get gameplay leaks, we get a lot of leaks, but we never really hear much about skill based matchmaking. There was a, the only guy that I remember, I don't know his name, but I still remember, I, I made a video a while ago, in fact, I believe a year or two years ago at this point, there was a dev that actually quit from Activision and did went on and talk about it, but keyword, left, he's an ex-dev, and talked, couldn't show, couldn't back up his claims, other than, you know, what is official is official, like the patterns that are official. It's clear Other that they're under that. some sort of NDA, probably Nothing. signed by Kodak himself. It might it might expire at the end of the year, or at least when Bobby Kodak leaves on the 29th. I'm not exactly yep. sure here. I do have to speculate there. But I'm going to say this. Call of Duty devs, do the right thing here. Let us know how this stuff works. And I mean, let us know in detail. Every other Yo, dev team from any other game I've played... Yeah, to be honest, though, like, what are we going to know when we know, right? Like, yeah. I want as a brown man, I demand for the skill based matchmaking to be removed. Like the video if you agree. You guys, you guys can keep that, you guys can keep that to yourself, okay? Uh, I mean, we need to know the truth, absolutely. But what I'm saying is that if I had the choice between knowing how this piece of trash skill based matchmaking algorithm works um, and also having other option where it's remote i will go with the remote route i will just take it with that the best thing would be having a ranked mode in the game you got thick ass tight ass skill based matchmaking in that and normal lobbies just don't have skill based matchmaking i mean come on bro that's probably the best thing ever do that it has no issues talking in detail about their matchmaking system what activision's doing that other game companies simply aren't doing is they are treating this like social media like when you get on a social media platform and you find yourself scrolling the algorithms just throwing you exactly what you yeah. want to see or what you want to watch and this goes for youtube as well i binge watch a lot on youtube at the very least though this is my job so i don't feel too bad about it mm. or i'm trying to look at educational stuff 
Uh, same can go Yeah, with I mean, the algorithm is just running the world right now, right? But guys, recently we had massive leaks for GTA 6. The source code got leaked! Oh, shit! Oh, now shit. it's way past the gameplay. Click on this video on the screen. There's a ton of drama on that. On the left, though, we got Xbox and PlayStation fanboys meltdown. That's a hilarious video. Check both of these videos out, and I will see you 